Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Chrysler Pacifica can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. You'll need the tool seen here to complete your installation. So to start, we're gonna be removing the underbody panel underneath our vehicle. Now ours does not have that. It would be held on by some of these screws down here, so you'll just need to remove those. Since ours doesn't have that, we're going to move on to our next step. Now we're gonna lower our exhaust. It's held in by two rubber hangers, one right here towards the rear and one further up towards the center. Now before we remove those, we're going to secure our exhaust onto our cross member using a support strap. To remove our rubber hangers, it makes it easier to spray it with some soapy water, and then we will use some exhaust removal pliers to take those off. Next, we're gonna remove our heat shield. It's held in by four nuts, here, 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 and one right above the exhaust. We're gonna remove those using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna trim our heat shield to allow our hitch to fit into place. Following our instructions, we went ahead and marked where we're gonna be cutting it out, and we're just gonna be using some shears to cut off that end. Oops. Now we're going to install our modified heat shield. It's only gonna use these two forward studs on the bottom of our trunk. Now that we have access to both of our frame rails, we're gonna go ahead and bring all of our bolts into place. Now it's identical on both sides, so we're gonna show you on the driver's side how to bring them into place. There's three carriage bolts. Two of them come with small blocks, and one of them comes with a large block. The two with the small blocks will be using these two holes right here, and our large block will be put into this most forward hole. Now to bring them into place, we're going to be using a fish wire technique. Let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So we're gonna start with our most rear hole. We're gonna take our coiled end and we're gonna push it through till it comes out of our access point right here. Now we're gonna take our carriage bolt with the small block and we're gonna attach it to the coiled end. Now we'll push our block up, followed by our bolt, and we'll pull it all the way through. And now we'll repeat with this second hole. Now we're gonna take our carriage bolt with the large block and we're gonna do a reverse fish wire technique for this last hole. We're going to attach our fish, fish wire first and then we'll push our bolt in followed by the block and then we'll pull it back down and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into position. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack if you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. So we're gonna line it up right over the exhaust. But before we go up all the way, we're gonna take our fish wires and we're gonna loop it through all of our holes.
With our hitch in place, now we're going to remove all of our fish wires and we're going to install our provided conical tooth washers and nuts. And we want to make sure the teeth are facing the hitch. Now we're ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specifications. We'll be using a 22 millimeter socket to tighten those down. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're going to reinstall our exhaust. It helps us spray those hangers with soapy water. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled our vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.